Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Smart and I'm your teacher and I'll be teaching you different question and answer in this question and answer series by class theta. So our today's question which we'll be discussing is Little On Books has the following transaction during May. On May 2 uh, purchases books on account from reader wholesale for 3500 on term 2 by 10 and on May 3 pay the cash of right cost of 220 on books purchased from readers. May 5 return the book with a cost of $300 to reader because uh, part of the order is incorrect and May 10 pay the full amount due to tra readers and May 30 sell all the book purchase on May 2 for 4200 on account. So what we need here is record the transaction of little on book assuming the company use a periodic inventory system and uh, option 2 is record the uh, period and adjustment to cost of goods sold on May 31. Assuming the country has no beginning or ending inventory, so that's the question. And the answer of the question is uh, by solving the uh, double entry on May 2, it's debited purchases and credit account payable with 3500. And May 3, the debit entry is right in expense, is debit and cash is uh, credit with 220. And uh, May three, uh, May five is debit with account payable and credit with purchase returns with three hundred. May ten is debit with account payable and credit with cash. And May thirty eighth sold books on account for four two zero zero. Account receivable is debited and credited sales. So the part B option is no additional entry was needed for the period year end adjustment to cost of goods sold since the ex. Uh, Exercise assumed that there was no beginning or ending inventory. This simplifies the calculation of cost of goods sold on purchases. Remember the exercise provided a simplified scenario for the educational purpose. In actual accounting, more factors like beginning and entry, ending inventory would like lead to involve in the calculation of the cost of goods sold. So that's the question answers. If you still have any other question, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as well.